So let's go back to the 1980s when a Xerox copier took up an entire room. <laughs> there was another park scientist, Lucy Suchman, and she had the idea that maybe if you're building technology for people, you should watch them using it. So she decided to watch some people using a Xerox copier. She grabbed a couple of her colleagues from down the hall and she asked them to make copies. So I'm going to show you a short clip of a video from this historic video of these two people making copies. Place one to 50 originals, but wait a minute, I have 100 originals. Face up. Place all originals against the left wall. We want two-sided copies. Unload top paper tray. Now, do we want them collated? What? Reverse order the originals? You've got to be kidding. This is definitely a bug. Press start. Does that relate to that? Unload top, top paper we didn't tray. Do that. That's not this. That's not the paper tray. It doesn't say what the paper tray is, huh? So our, our first batch. Our first batch. Is SOL. What is that? Shit out of Well, we sure did come up with a lot of paper. <laughs> So it turns out that those two people from down the hall are world-renowned computer scientists. One of them went on to win the equivalent of the Nobel Prize in computer science. <laughs> so clearly the problem is not that the people are dumb, the problem is with the design of the copier. Today it is now common practice for companies to do what's called usability testing.